Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So we're back in our next dollar store Christmas series. So this is a fuzzy tree that I'm going to pour over. I have no idea how this will work out. For this one, I thought it would be fun to do just a series of greens, basically. Um, I will be also using a little bit of metallic brown though. So kind of the more earth tones. And I'm gonna use kind of a, not just the regular grass green, but a variety of greens. So that one's kind of like an apple lime green. Here's a metallic green, which is really pretty. And this one's more of a sage green, kind of maybe army green even. And then I'm gonna use some of that metallic brown. This is Arteza. And I am going to use a dash of black, but literally a dash. <laughs> okay, that's all the black I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use a bunch more white. And I'm really liking the metallic green that I put in there. So I think I'm gonna use some more of that. All right, awesome. Yeah, let's do a little dash of this lighter green too. So this should definitely come out more earth toned and I'm hoping that this doesn't get too muddied by going through these things. And this thing is not particularly straight. It is from the dollar store, it is plastic. So here we go. I'm gonna go kind of right on top but I'm gonna go around a little bit. Now yeah, we're just gonna have some fun with this. <laughs> yeah, I'm not very sure how this one will come out. Could be epic, could be horrible. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna bring you down for a side view real quick. So you can see it's still dripping quite a bit. We do have some really cool patterns on the canvas here. And of course the paint didn't cover the entire tree because it's basically three layers. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this continue dripping for probably a good five minutes or so. And then we'll go ahead and take it off and see what we've got with this canvas. Okay, we're back. So this is mostly slowed down. I'm gonna go ahead and just gently lift it up here. I kind of wish I had used a brighter green in here as well, because I feel like this is gonna come out very earthy. But let's go ahead and we'll just see what we've got. Go ahead and tilt, and because this thing was lopsided, definitely seems like most of the paint ended up on this side, but that's okay. We should still have plenty on here. Okay, so truth be told, this is really not one of my favorites. It definitely definitely muddied on the way down through that tree which is what I was a little bit worried about um, but also I have some issue with my white paint here there's some little paint chunkies in there which is kind of disappointing so um, I'm gonna chalk this one up as a semi failure however I do think it can make a really cool background for embellishment so let's go ahead and we'll bring this in for a close-up all right, lower right corner here, you can see some of those chunkies in there. I mean, it did make a pretty cool pattern. I actually really like the pattern that it made. The muddying part, mm -hmm, not so much, but definitely some beautiful parts on here. I think, uh, <laughs> here's the Grinch 
literally right there. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think this could still make a really cool background for some embellishment. I don't hate it, just definitely by far not one of my favorites and realize it had all of these little hairs to go through, all those little fuzzies, you know? All right, guys, well, let me know what you think about this one. I know some people really like the greens and the earthy tones, so I'm sure there's some people that will totally love this. Um, I think it was at least a fun experiment, and it may work better with some different colors. But there you guys go. Check out the other videos in this series if you haven't yet. I'll put links in the description for some holiday fun, and I will see you all next time.